It's time to set up the George vacuum in wet mode. Inside the manual there is simple instructions to follow throughout. You got the wet pipe attached with a solution tube. A floor cleaner attachment with a hard brush. Carpet cleaner attachment. Upholstery cleaner. A clean water tank. Filter. And a 500 ml of solution. Right, to set this up, remove its head. Remove the filter and the bag. Make sure to seal it up with the red tag so no dust can escape. Clean the inside nozzle if it's dirty or clogged. Fill up the tank with cold water. And add one level of the solution which is around 40 ml. You can add more depending upon how bad the area is that needs cleaning. You can make your own cleaning solutions just by searching online. Slot in the tank. Now the filter has a plastic ball inside, so when the dirty water gets full, the suction will not work anymore and you will need to tip out the dirty water. The suction tube goes straight in the tank. Slot in the hose to its nose. Attach the tube. Now let's start off with this upholstery cleaning tool. Let's see if we can remove this drink stain on this seat. What I'll do, I'll give you a spray of the solution. Give you a scrub. Then vacuum it all out. Looks like it's done the job. Now normally you will switch on the spray and vacuum on together. Release the solution and vacuum it at the same time. Then vacuum again without any solution. That is the normal procedure to carry out. For carpet cleaning, attach the pipe. Not this way, but this way around. Slide in the nozzle at the bottom end of the pipe. and then the trigger at the other end. Attach and tie the carpet cleaner head. And finally the spray tube. And lastly, you got your hard floor cleaner. Use the brush first while spraying the solution. Then turn the head around to suck all the water up. Look at all the muck it captured.
tilt it away in the drain and you're ready for another clean. Take care guys, peace.